Good morning. We are here on this chilly April day to give a little virtual tour to some of our potential couples. So this is the entrance here, the famous red door where we had many, many photo shoots. Most of our brides and grooms are super excited about getting their picture in front of this amazing door. What we have here in front is a semi-circular driveway. Brand new, where the limo will come up. We have some benches out here for a little smoking area. And the gardens, which we're gonna be working on as it gets warmer. Okay, so we walk in, we'll have to do this. We walk in, first thing we get to is the foyer. Let's look at these gorgeous floors, more red doors. Beautiful, original woodwork. Take you through the other side. So usually these gray doors would be closed when people come in. We would reveal the grand room, which at this moment is completely empty because we had an event planned for April 3rd, which was going to be an amazing vendor, ladies' night shopping event. So we were all prepared to bring in tables for 40 vendors. So we had washed the floors and gotten ready and that didn't happen. Now, a lot of these Victorian couch pieces can stay in their location if that's what you want, or they can be moved and used for some different purposes. This red set here makes an amazing conversation area, but also just imagine the photos, just gorgeous. As you can see, the ceilings are vaulted with a nice hardwood. And you can even hear, by the way I'm speaking, how the room resonates. So your dance party, your band, it's going to sound incredible in here. So as we walk through to the front, this is typically where people are doing their indoor ceremony but come up on the risers here. And I'll have the arch in front of the beautiful stained glass. Again, an amazing vaulted ceiling here. So after we have the ceremony, so this would be your view. Here, let me just back up. This would be your view from the stage. I mean, seriously, check it out. Just gorgeous. So after we have the ceremony, Liz and the team takes out all of the ceremony chairs. They room switch this over to the reception. And depending on how you want to lay everything out, you can have your head table up here on the stage. In fact, what you can also do is you can move some of these couches up on the stage. It's a very, very big area back here. So you can move some of the couches up on the stage and these, this can be kind of a loungy area for people to hang. Um, you can use the stage for your DJ. There's a, a lot of different ways that you can lay out this room and Liz has a program that she'll use to, you know, based on your the kind of tables you choose and your guest count you'll lay out what the room will look like so over here we have a custom made 
live edge bar. Stunning. So this is where Tanya and Kristen will be working. Uh, the bar is movable. So sometimes people have it in this spot, uh, which is convenient because there's a service door there. Um, other times they move it over to this back area. Um, again, it all depends on how we want to lay out the room. This pew is a permanent feature. Again, something gorgeous to take pictures at, for your guests to hang at. Um, just a multi-functional room that can be used again for your indoor ceremony and for your reception. So here's what happens. So we have the ceremony, everyone gets super excited. We file them out through the doors and turn them to the left where they're gonna go down into the lounge for cocktail hour. Here we're coming into the lounge. Again, I apologize for not having it all set up like it would be for a typical event. Like I said, we were we had lots of plans before we got shut down for isolation. And we were preparing for this big ladies' night. We're down here, we would have had uh, a band on the stage. Oh, there's my puppy. Let me get some lights on in here. So this is the stage area. Let me just get you this photo. So if people come in here, again, we have a lot of nice seating areas for them. This is a nice conversation area. There's the stone fireplace with another conversation area. Now, many, many times the first look will happen in front of this fireplace. We'll have it turned on. If it's winter, I have sparkly lights that I put up to give it a bit of a festive look. Uh, so this is where first look tends to happen. The back of the lounge is kind of a rustic, exposed brick feature, which again, amazing photo opportunities, a really cool place for your guests to hang out during cocktail hour. And this is the kitchen. So this is where the caterer is going to be doing most of their work. They will have the cocktail hour hors d'oeuvres laid out on this section of counter here, or they will be going around serving, depending on how you uh, decide to organize your service. Lots of high tops. And then what we have is this Instagram feature wall. Now the last event we had in here was a 70th birthday party and the kids had an amazing time putting their wishes up on the wall. It's a chalk wall. So what we do is we will have your names at the top with your date and if you have a hashtag you can add it in there. And truly all you need is love. So that's the feature wall. Here's the bar, the downstairs bar. Again, another custom piece. And Kristen and Tanya will be behind the bar serving everybody for your cocktail hour. So this is the bride's room. Before everybody comes 
to the wedding. This is where the bride and her girls will hang and get ready for the day. Some lights going out. Ah, there we go. So it's a super feminine space. We have a makeup counter. This is where you can get your makeup done if you choose. And for sure, the photo opportunities among these pink couches will be unbelievable. We've had many, many brides use this mirror as a backdrop to their mom helping them do their bustle, etc. And here is a little dressing room. It's large enough in here for two people. We just have to close up the curtain. Complete privacy. In this closet, you can hang all your clothes for the day. Do a big reveal for your girls from this dressing room. Fabulous, everything you need. Let's do one more sweep because this is really my favorite spot. Now adjacent to this room is the groom's room. Now the lock is on this side so you can keep the guys out. So let's come through here. So this is where the guys will get ready. Again, a gorgeous exposed brick wall. You can get some really awesome photos of the dudes getting ready. All kinds of fun beer signs on the wall. Get a little masculine. A nice little spot for the guys to hang. They can have a beer before the ceremony. Take photos with the dad. Really fun. Coat closet for all the guests in the chillier times. And then back through to the lounge. Now on a practical note, through here we have two individual washrooms. This is the lounge bathrooms. Okay. And upstairs is a larger unisex washroom, which I didn't show you. That, you know, depending on the how you want to lay everything out, you can usually usually keep it as um, a unisex washroom or close it off as a ladies only washroom and just have the, the guys come downstairs. Okay, so let's go back up. So after the cocktail hour, everyone comes back up the stairs. And come up through here. and then they will come in here and be amazed because the whole room would have been switched over to dinner here I'll quickly show you the upstairs bathroom and uh, again show off these amazing stained glass windows so that's the upstairs unisex bathroom. Okay, there's four washrooms up here. Very comfortable. Okay, so that's the inside. Multi-purpose, comfortable, lots of space for people to hang. 
and it's exclusively yours during the time of your wedding. We don't do multiples. And I'll give you a tour outside. So we saw the front steps. The door. The seating area out here. Here's the parking. There's a beautiful back woods. So if you decide that you want to do a ceremony outside, not a problem. We have uh, wood benches that are ready to go. We've made them specifically for that purpose. And this is kind of where the aisle would be right here. So you would walk through here. And then in between these trees, this is where you would be. And you can either have us set up an arbor here or just stay natural. Um, it's not quite full foliage yet, but it will be. So you'll back on to the bridge. Again, we haven't been up here since winter, so there's a lot of cleanup to do, but you can see it's already starting to look pretty good. This is a good, this is a spot here where a lot of photographers like to take a picture. So they'll come over here and have you guys on that bridge. The trees would be much fuller in summer and fall. Of course, we've seen the winter pictures where everything is just white and dreamy. And back here, we have our log feature wall. That just needs a little bit of work, but I'm sure you've seen the pictures of brides in front of this. None of the plants around here have come up yet, but they will. This little romantic house is going to be painted, there's going to be flowers on it, it's going to be super cute. So what we did last year is we put up some other feature areas for photos. We have the swing, so that's a nice spot, double swing. And then we have the single swing. That's a very popular spot for pictures. And then we have what we like to call the grotto. This is also a very popular picture location. Just down here. Okay. Super cute. Okay, I think I've shown you all the main things that you would want to see. There's a lot of work that's going to be done now that winter has passed us. And that'll be apparent as it gets warmer and warmer. I can't wait to have you guys up for a personal tour. Just back. See ya!